please let us read all together. Uh, I will just read, let just read from uh, John chapter 14 verses 1 to 7. But actually we're going to go through all the chapter. Nawawala ako. Okay. Basahin lang po natin from uh, John chapter 14 uh, verses 1 to 7. And let us read this uh, in unison. Okay, John 14, verse 1 to 7. Let not your heart be troubled. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this very morning. We just want to thank you, God, for your faithfulness in our lives. Lord, thank you for gathering us together in your name. Lord, we just want to continue to ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, especially to the preaching and teaching of thy word. Be the one to be glorified. Lord, help me, God, because in me there's nothing, O oh God, there's no, nothing in me that can do this, O oh God, except by your grace and your mercy, by your strength, by your Holy Spirit. Panginoon, I'm praying that uh, you will be lifted up, O oh God, and let there be illumination to thy people, let there be strength and encouragement to each and every one, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Bless thy word, bless thy messenger. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so uh, anyway, I will be uh, more on Tagalog, but uh, of course, we will not be able to do that. But anyway, uh, this morning, po, I just want to share about this chapter in Jan. Uh, chapter 14, and if you are going to look at it, kung titignan po natin at pagmamasdan, all of us, I believe, we already read this chapter. And it is, uh, amen po ba? And it is about Jesus to be betrayed or to be crucified. So we know this, and this, there, there are things that really gives, uh, para bang inipo ng Panginoon, something that it really gives me, gets my attention when it comes to this chapter. But first, let me just give to you the background. So I believe that in this chapter, John 14, 6 is one of the key verses or the key verse of this chapter. And we know if you're going to read it, you go back to chapter 13, Jesus is about to be crucified and he's telling his disciples. So if you are going to ask me something like this, John 14, 6, why and to whom? It was said. Kung titignan po natin, or before that, let me give my, uh, my title this, uh, this morning. The title of this preaching is God's expect Expectation from Us. God's Expectation from Us. But before that, let me just give you, let us contextualize John chapter 14, verse 6. Here, the Lord says we know that John 14, 6, it was a very famous or very common verse to us. Jesus said, I am... Uh, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But if we are going to contextualize, if we are going to study the passage, John 14, 6, it wasn't said to the unbelievers. It was told to the believers. But of course, it is given just that Jesus is the way going to heaven. Without him going to heaven, you cannot go there. And we know that. Jesus said, I am the way. In John, in Acts chapter 14, verse 12, there is no other way that was given among men whereby we must be saved. And we know that. So this, uh, this morning, I just want to show you that when Jesus said, I am the way, he told the disciples, specifically Thomas. And what is the, the, uh, if you're going, the manner of these verses? It was a comfort for the apostles. It is, a, it is a comfort. Why? Kung babasahin niyo po, if you are going to go back to chapter 13, Jesus said, I am going away where you, where you cannot go. 
Let me give you some, uh, just verse in uh, John 13, verse 33. Little children, he, he, uh, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and I said unto, unto the Jews, Whether I go, we cannot come, so now I say to you. One more verse in 36. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. So definitely we know what Jesus is saying, right? He's talking about heaven. So if you will go to verse 1, Jesus is giving the comfort to the apostles. It says in verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. Okay? Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, ye also believe in me. Huwag kayong magugulumihanan kung ako yung lilisan, kung ako may aalis. But you know what? You find person or people who are troubled in their life. Minsan, mas makikita pa yung mga Kristiyano. You know why? No, let us be honest. Sometimes you will see Christians, they are being troubled. Do why? Later on, makikita po natin bakit, why we are so troubled. To be, to, 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 to be honest with you, sino ba rito ang hindi na troubled? Lahat tayo, yung, yung nag-cares. Nag-aalala na tayo, but I do believe God has an answer. And Jesus said, while saying this in verse 2, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, so I would have told you I go and prepare a place for you. Okay, that is in heaven. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am ye may be also. In verse 4, And whither I go ye know, and that, and the way ye know. First thing that you should see here, Gusto pong uno kong gusto makita nyo rito from verse, let's say from verse 1 to verse 4. You want to see how God, kung gano'n siya kakonsern sa'yo? You, you number, you, you, you count the word you in these verses. You count. Ganun ka pinagmamalasakitan ng Diyos, but you don't care about yourself, but God cares for you. Cast all your cares upon Him and He will care for you. Well, you read it. Read it. From verse 1 to verse 4, all the word you is nandun. Ikaw lagi ang focus ng Diyos sa, sa Kanya. But where is our focus? Nasaan tayo? Am I saying this because I am already uh, uh, been a long time? No. Without God, we cannot do anything. You go to chapter 15. Jesus said, without me, ye cannot do anything. So, uh, kung pag-aaralan po natin, if we are going to say, uh, study this, we will see that Jesus is giving us or giving Thomas an instruction or giving a, a, a comfort. But if you will go to verse 5, Thomas is, he said like this, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? So the reason why my, the title is this, because God is expecting from us, believe it or not, accept it or not. God is expecting from you and me. And in John, in, John, uh, in verse 5, but the, the problem is this. Uh, as, I, as I read through internet, to uh, research, if you're going to look at it contextualized or try to study verse 5, what Thomas said, he's thinking about a place in Samaria or in Judea. Yun ang thinking niya. Thomas' thinking is in this world. But Jesus saying is in heaven. Yun pong sinasabi niya. Pag-aralan niyo, basahin niyo po. He's saying that about heaven. So here, this is the problem. This is my point number one. Ang problema ko kasi natin, we don't meet with what God wants us to know. That is a problem. But let me give you some, uh, ano muna po, bago ako tumuloy din. Here, <clears throat> sorry, if you're going to ask about the way, Jesus is, if, I, if I may say, Jesus is the literal way going to heaven. If I may say that. Because He is the only way going to heaven. But let me give you some verses that, that it will confirm that He is, I'm not saying it's not confirmed, but it will uh, help us to uh, continue to uh, know that John 14, 6. In Romans chapter 5, verse 2. Romans 5, 2. 
He says, by whom also we have access by faith into the, to this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. He is the access. Going to that glory land. He is the access. He is the only way. In John chapter 10 verse 9, kabisado po natin to. He is the door. Ang sabi niya, anyone, anyone who will not go or enter through the door, he is a what? A thief. So we all go through that door. We all go through Jesus Christ going to heaven. I hope may realize po natin yun. Para nabang napakababaw niyan. Tagal-tagal ko ng kristyano dyan, 14.6. Well, study it. Kung anong ibig sabihin nun. One more verse. In Ephesians chapter 2, uh, 2 verse 18. Ephesians 2.18. It says here, For through Him, we both have access by the one Spirit unto the Father. Along sinasabi rito? Through Him. He is the only way that we can go to the Father. In uh, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12, look what we have. 3.12, In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith of Him. See the verse? We have boldness because of Him. Now we know. Unlike Thomas thinking of something else on that place. One more verse in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 19. The way. Hebrews chapter 9, uh, 10 verse 19, sorry, Brother John. 10, 19, sorry. Copy lang. Okay, 10, 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. See? By the cleansing of Jesus Christ, by His blood, our sin were cleansed. And now, we can go to the holy of holies. Only by Jesus. One more last verse. 1 Peter 3.18. 1 Peter 3.18. It says here, For Christ also at once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death into flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Self-explanatory verse. Ito naman po natin, what God did for us. So He is the way. But now, ito pong problema. That is, that who Jesus is. He is the way going to heaven. The, but the problem is this. Man's way is not His way. But we do our way most of the way. Pag kung may may say it, karamihan ang ating ginagawa. Ginagawa natin yung sarili natin pamamaraan. When we don't think about God. When we don't even care about Him. Alam nyo, there will be. The reason why you, later on makikita po ninyo. Is God, am I meeting the expectation of God in my life? Am I meeting that? In Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. Kapisado niyo po ito. Proverbs 14 verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right <clears throat> unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Nagbibinata. See? One more, Brother John. Brother John. Proverbs 16.25. Apekto ng kape yun. 16.25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. See? The Bible says, if you are going to, I will do it my way, like Frank Sinatra, what will happen? Diba? Mapapahama ka. Without God, we cannot do anything. Without Him, you are nothing, I am nothing. But are we doing, are we still doing our way? Kaya we keep, we keep seeing failure in our life. Ano naman, I have just something I experienced, one thing. May pera ka man o wala, kapag ang pananampalataya mo nasa Diyos, pareho lang. Although of course, masaya yung may pera, natural. Of course, I want money. <laughs> Pero alam niyo po, spiritually speaking, where is your peace? Where is your joy? Where is your love? Pagbasa po natin. Kasi that, Jesus, who, that who Jesus is in our life. Natatamdan niyo po yung gagamitin ko. Let me just use the outline of Preacher Rich Rilson. Nung pong, when he preached about Abraham and Sarah. Number one, he said, never abandon God's way. 
The problem is this. We keep on making our way and abandoning the way of God. Familiar ba yun? Is that familiar in our life? Sino bang hindi nagkakamali? Sino bang hindi nagkakasala? But the problem is this. When the pastor preach, when he preach about the Bible, he's not preaching about himself. He's preaching about the Bible. Nasasaktan ka minsan, sasabihin mo, yan po ba kagad ang, ang judgment? Hindi ka ligtas? I am challenging you kung ligtas ka talaga. No. Kapatid, I will not say sorry for that. You know why? Kapag ligtas ka, mayroong buhay. Hindi, hindi, hindi ka nawawalan ng buhay. And tama po yung sabi ni Pastor, whether you like it or not, kapag nahubog ang puso mo sa salita ng Diyos, you will go back. You will go back. And you will never abandon God's way. Number two, ang sabi ni Pastor Rison, never implement your own way. Yung sinasabi ko. Eh, pro, kasi gawa tayo ng gawa ng sarili nating paraan eh. Uh, Pastor, sorry po, I will just mention this. Kami pong dalawa ni Sister Joy, I, I were praying. Sabi ko, ito po, just to be honest with you, sabi ko nga, pray po namin, kung kalooban ng Panginoon, kung meron mang place of mission, that will be Philippines. I may not say sorry, but of course, we're praying for God's, way, God's will. You know why? Pero alam niyo po, we are doing this not, gusto malis kami rito, no. We love you so much. We love this church. To believe it or not, this is my first church. Kahit na 32 years na akong Christian. Kasi pinanggalingan ko, hindi naman church, church yun eh. This is the first church that I've been, that I, where I've been. What I'm trying to say is this. Sometimes, ini-implement natin yung sarili natin gawa. Kaya mayroong failure. One of the uh, outline of preachers. And then number three, it says, never, never uh, uh, argue on God's way. Alam yung ibig sabihin nun? Ito na kasi ang Bible. Sinasabi na kasi ng Bible, kagaya po ng sinabihan ni Pastor kanina. Ito na po ang Bible. But we keep on arguing with God through His Word. We are saying your Word is na, nothing. Yun po ang lagi natin ginagawa sa buhay natin. Masasaktan ka lang kapag ikaw ay sumusuway. That is the only way you will get hurt. And number four, ang sabi po ni Preacher Jason noon, never oppose on God's way. Is it familiar? We keep on opposing God. We keep on pushing God. We keep on arguing with God. Okay sana kung yung sinabi ni yung si, si Jacob, I will not let you go until you blessed me. Mayroon talagang intense na yung, pag, yung, yung desire niya sa Diyos. Alam niyo po, the reason why we fail, it is we do our own way. Pagpasensya niyo na ako, I'm a 50, 50 years old man, marami na rin naranasan. Minsan marami na akong ginawang paraan just for me to survive. But all of those fails. All those things that I have now, it is because of Christ. Because it is His way. So here, we can see in verse 5, ito po kasi ang masakit. In verse 5, I will read it again. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Thomas is thinking about the way on a place somewhere else, on that place, but Jesus is talking about heaven. You know, ito yung problema. This is a problem. God is expecting us for us to know already the way because we are with Him. Take note. You study this and you read it. This time, they don't have yet the Holy Spirit. You see that? But what Jesus said, Thomas, I am the way. Babasahin po niyo, sabi ni Jesus dito, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the truth of God. I am the life. But Thomas never realizes that. I don't know. If he, I don't know if he realized that or not. But for us, as a Christian, that we have the Holy Spirit in us, do we know that Christ is the way? No, it is not. It is the highest way that we should know. We will not say, Lord, show us the way. The reason why we do not know the way it is because we don't read the Bible. We don't read the Bible. We don't know. Alam you want to be comforted 100%? You read the Bible. You will be comforted. The reason why you are not being comforted it is because you don't read the Bible. You don't meditate the Word of God. When you read the Word of God, it's like something, there is power entering your heart. 
Believe it or not, that thou has that how it works. Yun po yung pero problema. We are the one asking, Lord, show us the way. When Jesus is already in us, alam niyo po that most of the problem is this: that we don't recognize Jesus in our life as the way. Yes, He is a Savior. Yes, He is God. But the problem, when we see a lot of problems, there seems to be no way. When the, the song says, He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Diba? That's one thing. That's one of my... And if you are, go, if you are reading a uh, Red Edition Bible, if you look at chapter 14, there are three verses that are being typed or written in black letters. That in verse 5, and the other one is in verse 8. Let me read it. It says, God, I told you that God is expecting from us. In verse 8, Philip saith unto him, Lord, she was the father, and it sufficed us. Nakita niyo po yan? See, sabi niyo, Philip said, Lord, uh, Philip saith unto him, Lord, she was the father, and it sufficed us. In verse 9, what is the answer of Jesus? In verse 9, Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip? Question mark. He that hath seen me, he that hath seen me, hath seen the Father. And now sayest thou then, she was the Father. See? Alam po, if you're going to study this verse, God is expecting from us that we know the Father in heaven because of Him. But the problem, we don't know the Father because we don't know Jesus. I am not judging you. I am telling what the, what I, what the verse is saying. He says, Philip said, Lord, uh, Lord, show us the Father. But Jesus said, Ang tagal-tagal mo na akong kasama, Philip, hindi mo pa rin kilala ang Ama. Something like this. Ang tagal-tagal mo ng Kristiyano, hanggang ngayon, hindi mo pa kabisado to? Am I judging you? No, I am challenging you. Perfecto ba ako? No. Kaya nga, Alex Santos eh, I am not perfect. But what is the Bible saying? Look at, look at what the, Bible, the verse says. Let's just continue to focus on this verse. Philip, I've been with you for how many years? And until now, you do not know me. You do not know the Father. Because if you don't know the Father, you don't know Jesus. In verse 10, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but of the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Ang ginagawa ko ngayon, Philip, sabi niya, it is all from the Father. What I am doing now, I am representing the Father. Christ is the perfect representation of God the Father. And he said, what I am doing now is I am doing what the Father is telling me to do. Are you doing what God is telling you to do? Is God telling you not to do this work? Is God telling you not to do His ministry? Is not God telling you to take hold of the opportunity and the privilege to serve Him while we are still here? Alam niyo kapatid, huwag nating sayangin ng panahon. Time will come. Time will come. Haharap tayo kay Kristo. What will He say to us? Alam niyo, sabi niyo, I don't care. I'm always excited for the coming of the Lord. I am not perfect, but I am always excited to see Him. I am always to see the face of Jesus Christ. Sa inyo na lahat ng gintong daan, karsada, lahat ng reward sa langit, sa inyo na lahat, sa akin lang makita ko mukha ni Kristo. I am satisfied. I am not joking. That's what, that is my joy. To see Jesus face to face. Pero, Kapatid, ang dami yung, ang dami yung, ang dami yung panahon, ang dami yung time, opportunity to serve God. Let us do it here with joy. Later on, makikita nyo the motive of that. And in verse 12, Verily I say unto you, He that believeth on me, 
the works that I do shall he do also. And he said, greater works than these shall he do because I go unto the Father. Ang ginagawa ko ngayon, what the, the, Jesus said, you will do better. Because now I am going to the Father. I will, be, I will be interceding for you and I am going to send the Holy Spirit. Okay. Here, in verse, ito po, meron po misconception dito. Verse 13, whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask me anything in my name, I will do it. What is he doing? It's about prayer, right? It is about prayer. Verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay. Dito kasi, pag nakita na natin, when we see this prayer, oh, if ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay, I, I will ask about, I will ask God, give me a, a Mercedes Benz, give me a Jaguar, or give me like this, give me like that, escalator, elevator, calculator, sabi ni pastor. What they are thinking is that Jesus is saying, oh, you ask whatever you want to uh, to, to receive. No. You go back to the verse 12. He said, you will do greater than this. And if you want to do that, you ask me in your prayer. And you can do better than this. I mean to say, you will do greater than this. That's what the context is saying. Although, yes, it is a prayer. It is a prayer to ask God's help. Pero minsan, i-contextualize din nga po natin. He said, here, you will do greater things. You will do greater things because you, I am already in the Father and you can ask the Father in my name. So I hope we understood this one. But the most thing that I always read when I meditate John 14 is that when the Lord says, Philip, don't you know the Father? Don't you know the Father? I am been with you. I am been with you for so long. See the expectation of Jesus to Philip? He is expecting from him that Philip should know the Lord, should know the Father because Jesus is there. And let's continue. Nasaan ba yung verse na Okay. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but ye know but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you okay if you are going to uh, go to verse 17 Jesus saying the difference between the unbelievers and the believers the unbelievers don't see Christ the unbelievers don't see the Holy Spirit not literally they don't have the Holy Spirit. But as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus said, Kilala niyo ko, you know me. Through the Holy Spirit. You know me. He is the comforter. He is the one who is teaching you. So here, we can see, oh, there is difference between believers and believers. And that makes it, uh, yung pong tayo yung, to be a, uh, tawag doon, yung pong sinasabi lang yung be separate. Believe it or not, meron ng pagkakaiba. Mabait man sila kesa sa iyo o sa akin, they don't have the Holy Spirit, they will go to hell and they will be punished there. But if we have the Holy Spirit, we will go to hell. Yun po ang diferensya. God is saying about the difference here. And in verse 18, And I will not leave you comfortless. Hindi ko iiwan ang nangungulila. And I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world see it be no more but you see me because I live and you shall live also. Nabuhay ako, mabubuhay kayo. And then in verse 21, here, ito po, uh, in verse 21, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be love of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Okay, sabi ng Panginoon, when you have me, I will manifest myself unto you. But look at verse 22. Look at this. Judas Iscariot, Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? 
Panginoon, bakit mo lang sa amin ipinapakita yan? Why are you just telling us that? But sa amin mo lang sinasabi. If you will go, verse 23, it says here, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. But if you will go on that top of that verse, it says, If a man love me, he will keep my words. Judas said, Lord, why are you just showing that to us? Bakit sa amin lang? And Jesus said, like, said, Jesus said this, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. What does keep means? Hindi yung itatago, ha? lagi ko sinasabi. Hindi sinasabing itago mo yung salita ko. The, the word keep here means to obey. To obey the word of God. If you really love me, Jesus said, you will share my word to, this, to the world. You will be the one doing this, not me. See? Ang sabi po ni Judas, Lord, bakit sabi lang? No, no, no. If you really love me, you will share me to them. Di ba pag naiin love tayo, share ka nung share kahit kanino sa love nyo? Oh, come on. Huwag kayong magkunwari. Pag naiin love ka, o hindi mo mas sinasabi, there is an sparkling eyes. Come on. There is a, uh, ano ba yun? Nagbablush na chick. Ah, brother Ilison. Ito to, di ba? But if we really love God, if we really love Jesus, we will share His word to them. We are going to share in Matthew 28, the Great Commission. Yun, yun, yun ang sagot doon. And the Lord says, if you really love me, you will share my word to the world. And in verse 24, I will just go until the verse 27. Oh, 26. And 24, he that loveth me, not keepeth my sayings. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. If you don't love me, you will not obey my words. That's all simple. Ganun lang kasimbli yun. Kung hindi mo mahal ang Diyos, hindi mo susundin, hindi mo ibabahagi, hindi mo gagawin ang utos ng Diyos. That's, yun po ang ibig sabihin. No? There is no other explanation on that. I'm not saying exclusively, no. But if you're going to read it, if you love me, ay hidat love at me not, yung mga tao, mga hindi nagmamahal sa akin, hindi nila susundin ang aking salita. Why? Because they don't love him. That's simple. But for us, if we are already saved, and we know the Lord, we keep his word. Why? Dun sa Ecclesiastes 12.13, ano nga ba yun? Uh, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments for this is the whole duty of man is to keep the word of God. means to obey the word of God. This is the problem. He said in verse 25, These things I have spoken unto you being yet present with you. Habang, sinas- habang nandito ako, sinasabi ko na sa inyo to. In verse 26, But the Counselor is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, He shall teach you all things. Okay? He shall teach you what? All things. And bring all things to remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. First, let me go to the, to the tough one first. When you receive Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit. We have the Comforter. We have the Great Teacher. Why? Because we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the mark of a true Christian. Kung nasasakatan ka, sasabihin sa'yo, siguro hindi ka ligtas. If you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will quicken your heart. Anak, anak kita. You know that. And, and if you will go to Romans, the Bible says, it is our spirit ang nag-ano sa Holy Spirit, ang Holy Spirit nag, uh, nag-confirm sa, sa ating mga spirito that we are a child of God. We have the Holy Spirit. And if you go d- down further, it says here, He shall teach you all things and bring all things into remembrance. That's clear. 
Siguro, there's nothing that we can say na hindi yun malinaw. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Okay. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Yung whatsoever I have said unto you, he's talking about the Bible. He's talking about His Word. Yun lang kasi. Ito mga sinabi ni Jesus, di ba? This is what Jesus said. But let us go on the middle part. It says, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He says, He will teach you all things. Ang sabi niya rito, He will teach us all things about the Bible and He will uh, bring this into our remembrance. My question is this, bakit minsan wala kang maunawaan? Bakit minsan hindi mo ma-remember kasi wala kang binasa? That's what the Bible says. He will teach us all things. He will bring all things into remembrance. When he said, when he says all, all. Kahit po sinasabi pa minsan, minsan sabi ni Pastor, yung minsan nakakalimutan mo na. Pero you know what? When you speak, it is the Holy Spirit will be the one to teach you. He will be the one to make you remember of those verses. That's why we can stand on the middle of problem. It is because He said it, not us. The, the problem is this, mga kapatid. We are so lazy to read the Bible. You are so lazy to pray. Yung pakikipagniig mo sa Diyos. Your communion with God. Kung titignan po natin, mas marami pa po tayong ginagawa sa sarili natin than to commune with God. That's why it's hard for us, for the Holy Spirit, although He's all-powerful, He has nothing to make you remember. It is because we don't read anything. Alin po, when I struggle, I remember Psalms 55 verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. First Peter 5.7 Cast all your cares upon him for he cared for you. Kung hindi mo alam yun, ano mangyayari sa'yo? If the devil attack you, greater is he that is, in, that is in me than he that in this world. No weapon forms against us shall prosper, as the Bible says. But the problem is this, wala ho tayong binabasa kasi. Even our prayer, nawawala ho, twinkling, twinkling siya eh. Para sa Christmas tree, Am I am judging you? No, I am challenging you. Oh, I am not judging you. Kasi kapatid kita sa Panginoon, mahal kita, alam ko mahal niyo po ako. Kapatid, the answer is the Bible. The answer is prayer. The answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Mahirap po eh. Well, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit is the great teacher and is the one who comforts us. The problem is this. Lahat tayo nagturo na dito. Almost all of us nagturo na. I always tell my student before, if you want to learn, you must listen. If you want to learn, you must listen. Lagi ko sinasabi sa kanila yun. Pero tingnan nyo, bakit hindi sila natututo? They don't listen to the teacher. At ang sasabihin nyo, mm, mm, di ba? Buti na lang, bawal na ngayon. Ako talagang ginaganon ko dati. Pero ngayon, bawal na. <laughs> Pero look at this. Look at the very simple concept of this. Kung titignan po natin, they are not listening to the teacher. Well, nakikinig ba tayo sa Holy Spirit? How we listening? No, no kailangan ka bang makinig? Yes, yun ang buhay. That's life. Yung makinig tayo sa turo ng banal na Spirito at ituturo niya ang Biblia. You know what? If the Holy Spirit will need to drag you, He will drag you, isusubsub niya mukha natin sa, sa Bible. If, kung pwede lang. Yun po, ang, uh, yun po ang sinasabi ng Bible. But the problem is that tinatamad tayo. Alam niyo po kung basahin yung Bible? Sabi ko nga, sana magkaroon pa ako ng word sign. Yung bang magkaroon ka ng manage mo yung oras mo, babasahin mo lang yung word of God ng at least two hours lang. Kahit two hours lang, magbasa ka ng Bible. Kahit na, sabihin mo lang minuto lang, magpray ka lagi. Prayer is always consistent. Prayer is always never ceases yung pagpapananalangin po natin. Ang alam kasi nating panalangin, when you are kneeling down, when you are in the church, when you are eating, praying is always everywhere when you meet with God. Even when traveling, yun po ang prayer. But the problem is this, you reject God, you reject His Word, you reject the Holy Spirit, and you're done. 
That's all simple. Meron tayo po nawa, ma-challenge po tayo yung sinasabi nga ni Pastor. Sana ma-challenge po tayo. Malapit na ang dumating. Ang we do not know the coming of the Lord, but at least we see signs that the coming of the Lord is near. Are we excited to meet Him face to face? If you are going to look at the life of Thomas, if you are going to look the life of Philip, if you are going to look the life of Judas, God is expecting from them. What's that? To know Him. If you are going to see that. So I hope and I pray, mga kapatid, magkaroon po ito ng, ano, magkaroon po ito ng hamon sa buhay natin. We all experience problems. We all experience difficulties in life, struggles, temptation. But the question is this, how do you manage to confront those problems in your life? How do you manage it? Paano po ba natin ito inaharap? Paano po ba natin ito ginagawa? Are we running to our friends? Takbo ka agad sa isang kaibigan. Alam niyo po, one thing po na lagi po sinasabi sa asawa ko, and I am protecting her when it comes to spirituality. You know why? Ano siya sinasabing, no, kailangan na. What I'm trying to say is this. Kasi po, kung sinong nakakausap po palagi, minsan, lalo hindi sila ayos sa Panginoon, minsan nagkakaroon mo ng problema. Sasabihin ko sa iyo, yung sinasabi ni pastor dito, yun po ang sinasabi ng Bible. No, no, kung, alamin mo kung sino ang mga kasama mo. Di ba, ano ba yung subverse yung uh, <laughs> bad company, ba dun? Sa iyo na ibig ko siya, alam yun eh. Bad company corrupts good character. Good manners. See that? The Bible is the one who said that. Pati tayo, pinaypre, magkaroon po na nga mo ng buhay ni Thomas sa buhay natin na malaman natin ang Panginoong daan. May, may the life of Philip be a challenge to us that we know him and we know the Father and we know what he do is for the Father and what we do is for the Father. And if we are saying we love God, if you're going to go back, the Lord says here, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, all the things that we are doing here, it is all powered by the love of God and our love to Him. They meet together. They meet face to face. Kung ano man pong ginagawa natin ngayon, it is because of love. Yeah, bakit tayo nasasaktan? Kasi you are doing it out of anger. You are doing it out of uh, malice. O ginagawa mo ng pagreklamo. Kaya minsan walang blessing. But, make sure, Look at this. Even the smallest things that you do in your life as a Christian, if you do it with love, God will bless it. Because that is His promise. Di ba sabi po niya dun sa to be, uh, tatapos na po ako dito. <laughs> sa ano nga pa yun? 27. Okay, verse 27. Look at this. Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Yung ibinibigay ko sa inyong kapayapaan, hindi ang kamukha ng kapayapaan ng mundo. Okay? And then, he said it again, the one that he said it in verse 1. But this time, may idinagdag ang Panginoon. Ang sabi niya, let not your heart be troubled, sabi niya, neither let it be afraid. Ni huwag kayong matatakot, sabi niya. Ni huwag kayong matatakot. Alam niyo po, dumaranas tayo ng takot sa buhay. Give it to God. Kasi sabi niya, huwag tayong matakot. Bakit? Because we are trusting Him. I hope and I pray ito pong mga bagay na ito ay magbigay po ng hamon sa ating buhay. And that will keep us on serving the Lord. We serve God because we love Him. We do this because it is not because of, not only because of the reward. Jesus is already, or serving God is already a reward. So I hope and I pray, ito po yung nagsilbi pong hamon sa atin at nagbigay po sa atin ng kanakasan. Let's pray.